Hello everybody, welcome to the next Fix Your City with me Biffa and here we are with the city of Somerstad sent in by lads, uh, sent in a couple of months ago actually, I've just got around to checking this one out and it's actually a very well built city, it started off with about 40,000 population, the traffic is down to like 18%, 19% so it is pretty bad at the moment, I've been running the city for 5 or 10 minutes like I do just to see how bad it gets and it gets pretty pretty bad let's just take a look at the red whoa mama or oh, mama mia <laughs> look at that that is pretty pretty rough and yeah we are going to try and fix this up you've got a lot of roundabouts which is good you've used a lot of traffic manager which is also good you've done lane management but why is the thing still backing up we're going to get this fixed up and humming along smoothly for you. If you would like me to take a look at your city, then check out the description below. It shows you how to send it in. Just before we dive in, I'm gonna let you know you can check out the mods that I'm using in one of the videos that's linked in the pinned comment below. I, I also have traffic despawning turned off and it's on unlimited money because that is how the person running the game sent it to me. I always do it the way that you sent it so I don't mess anything up for you. So let's try and uh, let's just pause the game a sec and try and get a handle on what's going on here so we can see coming off the highway it starts backing up here and then it goes down here and let's just follow this along a bit and see what's going on it goes along here it goes along here right let's just see if i can spot anything on this main road that's going to help this is like the back of the queue but things like this can really help so if we have a look here we can see that there, this lane here is for turning in two different directions so we are going to go along here and fix this up and say one lane for turning left two for going straight on and uh, that is fine going through there was there another turn there and there's another turn here. We're going to do the same here. So this is Traffic Manager. It doesn't come in the vanilla game, for those of you that ask. There we go. So they're going to go left. Two lanes going straight on. I don't know why he stopped right in the middle of the road. What are you doing? <laughs> now you don't exist. And that, okay, look, this one's already been done, which is good. And that's just really going to help things. Keep moving along. Right. We've got a bit of a thing going on with no... It's like you bought your line up here. I've already checked the lines on your metro because you've got metro buses. You've got like the works. Let's have a quick look. You've got tons of buses, which we'll come back to. You've got tram lines. You've got metro set up. You've got some people using metro, so we'll definitely try and increase that. You've got some train lines and you've got ferry lines. Yeah, you've got everything, which is good. But I know for a fact that there's no trams coming up here. So I'm not gonna change the road for you. I'll leave it as it is, but yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Let's actually just stick some traffic lights in there. Just so people stop and other people get a chance to go. Although they're not gonna get anywhere because this is just like nuts up here. Right, I wanna check this lane. Yeah, you see this lane goes both ways. You don't need it. One lane for right, one lane for left because you've created lane connections by hand. Oh, okay, so maybe you've already done that. Oh, you have. Um, Tell you what, I'm gonna delete all of those because it's easier just to do this. Look, and now they're suddenly going again. So we're going to have lane one lane for left and right. Uh, here, we're going to have one lane for straight on and one lane for left. And then here, we're going to have one lane for straight on and one lane for right. So now people can pick their lane. And look, loads of people want to go left, which is good. Start moving that traffic out of the way. And I'm just going to put traffic lights in there as well. Did I take the traffic lights out? I did. I'm going to put traffic lights in just to help them move. Right. Okay. Let us try. Oh my goodness. I'm feeling like this is going to be a tough one already. Let's check this roundabout. So you've got giveaway coming on. You've got stop coming. Okay. I'm going to do this whole roundabout. That's also going to take in all of these roads. All right. We'll do it by hand. Giveaway coming on. Giveaway coming on, that's fine. Let's check your junction restrictions. Yep, so only the people on the highway get to go through the junction. Uh, on the roundabout, I mean. Uh, yep, that's fine. Oh, auto save. Quick sip of tea. Mm. Very good. And we're back in the room. Yes, so that one's set up okay. That one's set up okay. That one's set up okay. Good. So this is all moving nicely. I don't like this here. There's a lot of cars coming up. And going round... Oh, we've got a road over here. Oh, okay, that's good. So that can go straight off. Let's just check the lane here to make sure people aren't budging. Uh, why is there not a right hand? Hang on, pause your second. You're going to go there. And you're going to go there. I think it's because they're quite close together. 
it's getting a bit confused and then it splits out into two to come down here oh man when people go overboard with these sort of things it's just too much you can let the game do it itself and also i wouldn't turn this into two lanes so you've got your one up one down yeah so that just to give them a chance to work out what the heck's going on yeah and we just make sure that that's still give way yeah that's fine good right okay so all of these are coming around they're all getting blocked up here because they're getting blocked here because they're getting blocked up here let's just check this one so everybody's giving way coming on okay let's check the junction restrictions so this bit's going straight through that bit isn't so we're going to do that that bit's going straight through i see what you've done you've got like slip lane on and off bits as well, well that's, that's fine uh, you want that one going round the roundabout set you want that one going round the roundabout set uh, that one there you've done that one there and we've seen this before one little change like this can get things moving okay now these are coming up these are coming up and everybody's then going up this road under here and these are all coming up here and these are all going up here to come off to this roundabout <laughs> let's check the lane restrictions on this one uh no we don't want those going straight through that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine there you go look things start moving i'm gonna change these lanes on here as well as obviously this is a pretty busy one do you know i do have fun doing this you know i do have fun and what i want is only one lane for going off because those going off there are getting in the way of those that are going round. that one's okay uh, we'll do this one as well. So it's one off and one round. This one here as well. One off and one round. Good. And then everybody's coming down here. They're all getting over into this side lane. And then they're all doing a similar thing. Let's just check this roundabout. And yeah, that one's fine. So then that's going to do that. And then they're all... Two lanes. Some are moving over. And then some are going up there. Right. What I'm going to say is... I don't want any lane switching in the middle here. You go straight through you go straight through i want them to pick their lane here so we're going to use this again and we're going to say when you're coming down here you can pick your lane so you turn right and you can pick whichever lane you want and then this will all flow straight and then this little bit here lots coming and going this is crying out for a little tiny roundabout nothing i mean there's not a lot of people walking around here either so we could do a two lane a highway one here and i think that would work perfectly well let's just yeah we'll keep it a reasonable size let's go a little bit bigger bish bash bosh there we go uh, we'll turn that off we'll just double check that that's all set up giveaway coming on everywhere yep and then we got this i turn off that one because i think that just works better when there's a ton of traffic and then we'll just do the lane management so one for coming off one for going straight round one for coming off one for going straight round yeah, one for coming off, one for going straight round. Good. Let's just get that off the screen. Speed that up and just watch this start flowing a bit. I mean, it's still blocked down here. And once these guys start moving, they will get out of the way. So they're then coming down here. We've got two lanes getting into one lane. And then we've got this. Okay. Hopefully, you've done your lane management here. You have. So you've, you're saying no you see you've got them crossed over so they're still going to get in each other's way so let's turn that off wait pick it pick it thank you so you've got three lanes plus one is four so this is yeah this needs to go down to two lanes so this is where we do lane mathematics three lanes coming up one goes off so this goes down to two so now automatically the game says oh we've got one lane going off which should do all right i think it's because it's too far away the node so i will do it by hand so that one goes up to there and then you two go straight on. Yep. And then coming along here, we'll do the same here. And then you can come out onto there. So this is going to clear up a lot of the traffic that we had. Where is it? There it is. Definitely. Because now they can all... Let's just watch this a minute. Now they can all smoothly move out until they start... Oh, okay. They're doing a bit of hawky walky lane switching. Right. I tell you what. Let us <laughs> delete this car. Toyota Rav4 2017. You burnt. Okay, you're gone. And then you've got this all going on down here. But anyway, these can can keep moving. Yeah, we'll leave that for now. So what is happening here? They're all coming down here. 
what are we at? Let's have a look. 34% is going up. And then you're hitting this bit. So some are coming off, some are... Yeah, this is... A little roundabout here will make all the difference. It's going to be another little two-lane highway roundabout. Like that. Okay, good. We'll just leave that to go. So giveaway coming on, giveaway coming on. Yeah. Um, and then not you. And not you. And not you. That one should be fine. And then I'm going to do the lane management and say one lane off. I mean, people might be wondering why I'm doing two lane roads here instead of three lane. It's because of the size of the road that's coming into it. I mean, it could come into there. I'd rather it go into down here somewhere. So I'm just going to use toggle node snapping. Just get it a bit further down. So there's space from here and space from there just to give the game. There we go. And because I braced it, it's not going to change the shape of the roundabout there we go and then we'll just double check that's still set up give way and we're going through good right let's just look at this for a moment and see how this is going to start flowing so that's going better definitely these aren't getting in the way of those coming on but then they're getting stuck here not enough lanes see, some of these might want to go straight on but they're stuck so we're going to change this three lane asymmetrical road there we go so we're going to grab that one Yes, yeah, so now we've got a turning off and a straight on. And then, see, this one here is going to get in the way if anyone comes up there, but nobody is. So anybody who wants to go straight on, there we go, can dive around the outside and go straight on. I'm just going to make sure they know that they can lane switch here. So as they're coming up, you pick your lane. Go around the outside and go up there. Okay, that's fine. And then coming down here... Again, we've got two lanes coming into each other. All right, let's just have a look. That's three lanes, one going off. Yeah, this can change the two lanes. Let's just stop. All three show straight on, and this one shows right. If we downgrade this road now to two lane, I have to use the anarchy mod. There we go, to allow me to put that in. Now that should just show, there we go, just off right and two straight on. So that will help clear up some of this traffic. Right, I'm going to change this a bit. I've just you, or you can see here, look, a lot of people are wanting to come up here. They're coming down there, going through two junctions just to get on this road. There's a roundabout right here. I'm thinking we could just have a slip road off the top. Yeah, let's take these out in the middle here. And let's just set this roundabout up and see how it works. So we're going to do give way there, give way there, give way there. And nothing's coming out of there. That is just going in. That is good. And then we're going to say, you can go straight through, you can go straight through, you can go straight through, and you can go straight through. And then down here, it's causing a bit of a hoo-ha. Okay, right. Just wondering whether we could get them to go somewhere else instead. Like, we've got this little road up here. Could they just join here and go up there instead of coming up here? And then if they want to get down there, they can come down here and go through somewhere else. Do you know what? That just might be a better way of doing it. Let's come out of there and go like that. Just change that all together. And then you just, we just want this to move. And then what I want as well is the lanes here. And that's three, one coming off down to two. I'm going to leave that like this because there's another one coming off. And what I'll do is I'll just do a little bit of lane management. We'll grab that and say one road for going off, two for going straight. Yeah, it might take him a while to think about it. And that would help. Look instantly that clears up because not everybody's now coming off to go round the only time they're going to come off down here now is if they want to go hopefully not straight back across again that would just be stupid yeah look you've already done it they can only go through there but don't pick both of these look just pick the one because then you can have this one for there good okay oh my giddy aunt. what the heck <laughs> what the heck uh, let's have a look what you've done. So you've got one for going right. You've got that one for going there or here. I'm going to delete it all and do it myself. So I have one road for going this way. Yep. So two lanes there. I have one road for going this way. So now when they go, they can go. Which is fine. So when the traffic light goes, these guys get flowing. Oops. Game jumped. And then you're saying no lane switching, no lane. And then you're making them lane switch there. Well, instead of doing that, there we go. Turn that off, turn that off. Let's just use this tool instead. And say, when you're in here, it's okay to lane switch. And that's just the easier way of doing it. And then when they get down here, they're moving. Look, it's all moving. That's moving. This is moving. This is all cleared up. Oh, man. This is all cleared up. This is all cleared up. What are we on? 
63% and we're only, I don't know what, 15 minutes into the video. Suddenly things are looking good. Right, this is all clearing up. These guys have all gone somewhere else. I mean, this little connection road we've done isn't going too bad, is it? That's not going too bad. You've got one lane for going two ways. And it's going fine. I'm just going to leave that as it is. Wow. We just need to get these guys, get this traffic to go down. I mean, you could even add a little slip road into here. Delete that. Down to there. That's where my little slip road's going to be. So we're going to grab the slip road. This one. There we go. But we don't want all the trucks using it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a little district just on here called Autumn District. And then we're going to go to the policies. And we are going to find the policy that says... So we'll do heavy traffic ban. So then what you might see is cars coming down here, but certainly not any trucks. And then... Uh, there we go. Look. Cars are coming down. Oh! Also save. Sip of tea. Mm. And then what I'm going to do, once the game gets going, is just do the bit of lane management here that we do... So one lane for off, two lane for on. I'm not going to downgrade that to two because we've got all of this going on. And it just splits the amount of cars and trucks and things that are coming down here. Yeah, look, there they go. And they're moving through fine. And we're growing as well, which is nice. What are we at? 66% traffic. Nice. This is getting a little bit busy here. And then I'm going to just upgrade this road as well to three lane. So you've got a road for left and for right. There, like that. If I just take it all the way back, and then we just do a little bit of lane hawky balkiness here and say, you can go there and there. And then you can go there and there. And it just stops everybody getting in each other's way. And that should just let the traffic build up there into two lanes. And then when the traffic lights go, they can go through 71%. <laughs> What? I haven't got despawn on by mistake, have I? No. No, I haven't. Oh, that is just nuts. Wow. I'll tell you what, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's try and find some other little spots here. Let's have a look at this. What's going on here? So we've got these guys going down and they're hitting this. Okay. I bet I can sort this out quite quickly. Let's look at the lanes here. And we've got, yeah, look, we've got one for straight on, one for left. So that will sort that out. So they'll work it out themselves. And then we've got these trying to join as well. And this is coming from around here. I wonder if we could get this to join in here instead of around here. And just take this road out. It just seems like that is a bit unnecessary. Hmm. Got a railway line here. Well, that's okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll use the Move It mod. I'm going to grab that node, that node, and that node. Do page down. And I've dipped that down lower. That is looking good. And then I want this to keep moving. So I'm going to take out the traffic lights from there. And hopefully that will just stop all of these guys getting in each other's way. And just keep that area moving a bit. 74%. Yeah, I'm going to delete that road there. It's just adding too many junctions in. They can go up there and come around here instead. Right. Let's go on the hunt. 76%. Wow. Wow. Let's get a look at this. Look at this. Look how smoothly that is all moving. That is brilliant. Oh, we've got one little one little hiccup down here. All right, let's have a look. What have we got? Yeah, this is going to be fixed with lane management. Oh, this is where we put the traffic lights in. I'll be honest. I bet if we took those out now and just did lane management instead. So one straight on, one right. Let's take out all the lane arrow things. Yep. Mm -mm. This one here, one straight on, one right. Yeah, this one here, one right and left. That one here, two straight on, one right. And that one we've got no... Oh, there we go, look. It's instantly freed it up. Wow, I feel like we need a little traffic time lapse on this area. How about that? Right, we're hitting 79 to 80% of traffic. I'm just seeing whether we could uh, 
do something about that and get it even better. Uh, I'm just looking around for any places where there are oh, these cars are parked. Any places where we can do something to increase it. 77. Oh, it's going down. Oh, no. Okay, let's have a look at this spot over here. This is why I added in that road. It's helping, but it's still sort of slowing down. Look, there we go. Bus stop right by the junction. That bus stop is going to move. Okay, let's get the bus stop. Get the bus stop. What's that one you got there? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, and let's move these bus stops way, 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 way down there. There we go. Move and move out the way. And then you're not going to stop right here and then try and get across into another lane, are you? Which is good. And then what's going on down? Look at all these buses that all want to stop. Fortunately, there's bus lanes on that one. But So even if they do stop down here... There's a lane to go past them, so hopefully... I just want to check you haven't got any non-lane switching stuff set up. No, that's fine. Do you know what? I bet we don't need traffic lights there now. That is just... Oh, there isn't any. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, bonehead. Bonehead Biffa strikes again. I think this bus here is stuck. No, he's not. There's just like 47 lines there. Right, you've got two metro lines. You've got one going from Lilac Hills, running through here and going down to Briarwood Heights. And then you've got another one from Briarwood Heights running up to there. You do actually have... Oh, no, that's train lines. That's fine. So what we're going to do... Let's go back to that again. Is we're going to take this line here and we're going to loop it round here and join it up to there. There we go. So that goes around in a nice big loop. And I put some other stations around here, around the outside. So people want to use those. Then it goes back up there. I've just noticed where they join up here is the Grand Central Terminus. Uh, Grand Hotel Terminus which is absolutely fantastic. So we can use that to have our lines separated, but people can easily swap from one to the other. So I'm going to actually delete your metro lines that you've got on here, just so we can make this a bit easier to see. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is set up a loop. So we're going to use this one here for this setup that we've got on this side. Uh, those are quite close together there, but I'll just leave them. Yeah. And we're going to do a clockwise and an anti-clockwise loop going around here. So that's running in both directions in a nice loop around there. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in the centre here that isn't really... I mean, you've got some big stuff here, but there's a metro nearby. So you've got other transportation stuff. There we go, there's a metro there. But all these houses, they can use the buses to get over to the stations. That's fine. So that you may want to just check your bus stops to make sure that there's bus stops within walking distance of these metros, which is sort of a raid. I mean, it's quite big. They will walk quite far, so that's fine. And then we're going to use this bottom section here to run a metro just over into Chestnut Park, Sunset District, a bit of a loop here. And then if ever you expand, you could cover this area too so let me just do that right there we go that's our other loop it goes around the top back into here the paris terminus and then back round again and you've got that clockwise and anti-clockwise i've got a couple of spare stations here feel free to move these out here adjust your lines when you expand you get the idea a nice loop what i would like to do as well so we've got our loop here the first loop we put in down here is you've got this section of housing up here as well so you've got a lot of houses, you've got businesses, you've got farms, all sorts of stuff going on. And you're probably going to expand, I'd imagine, in some of these spaces. I'd like to add a little loop up here. So what I'm going to do is add a station near to this station here. Let's just see what we've got going on. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, let's turn off Anarchy so it gets rid of the buildings. There we go. So they can cross over from one to the other. They can walk around the outside, get in there. And we are going to add a nice separate loop that runs up and down and takes in all of this area. And there we go. There's our third loop going around there. And as we said, we've got this little crossover point here. And we should see people coming out of one, this one here, and running around and going into the other as time goes by. There we go. Look, let's, oh, look, here we go. All of these people are coming out. Where are they going? And a load of them are going in there. Fantastic. And as time goes on, that will increase more and more. And we will see more and more people using your metro. Let's just take a quick look. Oh, there we go. Look, these are the lines I've done at the beginning. So these are starting to go up as well. Excellent. What is the traffic on? 77%. Let's see what else we can fix up. What is going on down here? See, a lot of the light... See, this is what you'll find in traffic fixing. You've got a lot of places that are red, and that's just because they're well used, and that will knock down your overall percentage. 
and there's not a huge amount you can do about it this little bit here is causing some issues isn't it let's what are you doing oh you're going down that way i think we just need some giveaway signs in here so people don't just you know you give way don't just get in each other's way and then you give way that one's okay and you might just find it just stops people doing this hopefully have we got any yeah nobody's going straight through there's a lot of people coming down here i'm just wondering let me just check where they're all going let's use the in-game tool yep super helpful young boulevards they're just going everywhere lots are going up there's probably not much we can do without a little roundabout in there which i'm loath to do because we've got all these other little stops and things going on do you know what? I, I think I might just leave that one and we'll just have to live with it. Well, I've just popped off for a cup of tea, left this running for 20 minutes. It's still at 80%, which is fantastic. I mean, we've got a few little hot spots right over here in the middle of the city. But I'm, to be honest, I'm not overly concerned about that. I put a few giveaway signs and things in and it just seems to be running okay. Um, I'm also going to just take a quick look at the metros to see how they are doing. Look at that loads and loads of people using them which is absolutely brilliant you could even add some more in if you wanted to and i bet your bus lines are hardly being used now are they yeah not too bad actually still people using them you could probably drop some of these buses down but i'll let you go through and sort that out i'm really pleased with that that has worked out really really well let me know what you think in the comments below don't forget if you would like to have your city fixed then check out the description it will tell you there how to do it and leave a like as well and subscribe if you'd like to see more and don't forget to always have your tea with you as we fix your cities and i will see you all very very soon thanks for watching take care everybody Bye bye